Hey everyone, so I'm going to give you some directions on how to create your student introduction slide. So I'm going to step by step um, through the process and you're going to just follow the directions. I think you're going to enjoy this. It's very creative and um, it also gives me an idea of your writing level because you're going to be writing a paragraph for me about yourself. So let's get started. Um, basically, you're all going to get the same slide and they have directions on them. You're going to be reading the directions, following the steps, and then getting rid of the directions as you replace the directions with your product. So let me step you through. So the first thing you're going to do is notice here we've got step one. The first thing I want you to do on this is to add a background. So if you have never done this before, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's not hard to do. So the background is going to go behind all of the other information that you've got here. So you're going to go up here to the background and you're going to click on that. And this is going to give you some options. So the first thing you could do is you could add a color to your background. So you could go over here and look at all the many colors that there are. You could even create your own custom color. But I would suggest if you're just going to do a plain color, you could just choose from any of these. Um, let's go ahead and I'm just going to choose like a lavender color. And then when you're done choosing your color, you just hit done. So now your slide has a background plain color to it. Now, if that's not enough for you and you'd like to be a little bit more fancy, a lot of people like to put pictures and things in the background, and that's very easy to do. So you would go up to background, and instead of color, you would choose image. So when you go ahead and do that, you're going to say choose image. And up here, um, you're going to do Google image search. There's a lot of other things you can choose from. If you've got photos and things on your computer, you could do that. But what I would suggest is you go to Google image search. And then at the top, you're going to search for whatever image you want in your background. So let's say I wanted clouds. I'm going to click. I'm going to type clouds. I'm going to hit return or enter. And I'm going to choose one that I like. So let's go ahead and let's choose this one. And you'll see this blue bar come up at the bottom. And after I've clicked on this one, I can hit insert. Sorry. There we go. Oh, it says the selected image is too large. Okay, that's good that that happened. So we don't want that one. So let's do it again. Let's choose this one. It's smaller. See, this one was really big. Let's choose this one. Okay, insert. All right, so now we've got clouds in our background. You hit done when you're finished, and now you've got your background. So you choose whatever you like, and if it doesn't work out like mine there didn't, you know, the picture was too large, you just go back, you choose a different one, um, and you can choose anything you want. Like if I didn't want clouds, I could go back up and do choose image. We could put in, I don't know, let's see, why don't we put sunrise? And honestly, you can choose anything you like. So I'm going to go ahead and do this as a pretty one. So let's do that one. You know, if you like sports and you'd want to put that in your background, you could say soccer. I mean, really, you can do anything. So I'm going to leave this one there. And then since we finished step one and we added a background, I'm going to click on this box. And then I'm going to hit backspace or delete. Backspace works really well when these dots are up. When you click on a box and the dots come up, you can go ahead and um, backspace and it will erase the box. So we're done with that part now. I have my background. I got rid of the directions. Okay, that's the process. So step two, you're going to add your full name. So I'm going to go into this box now and I'm going to get rid of these directions because I no longer need them. I'm just going to backspace through it. And I'm going to type my name. Now, this isn't very large. I would prefer you have it fairly large. So I did this on purpose because I want you to make it large. And I want you to make it bold. I want you to change the font. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to highlight this by um, clicking down and dragging, right? And we're highlighting the name. And then I'm going to go up to the top here, and I'm going to increase this font. So I'm going to make it pretty big. I want it pretty large. So that's a 25 uh, font, and that looks pretty good. I mean, you can make it as big as you like as long as it fits. doesn't really matter to me as long as it looks good. Now, it's not really um, – it's not centered in this box, so I can do one of two things. I can click on this 
dot and drag this over so that I have it fairly centered. Then I would click on these double arrows and pull this box over. Okay, so here's the middle line. Um, I, I want mine centered. You don't have to. You could put yours over here in the corner. Totally up to you how you want to, um, you know, design your slide. You do what you like. I'm going to highlight this again. And again, we're, we're clicking down and dragging, right? Highlighting it. And then we're going to make it, I'm going to make it bold. Now that made it larger. So I'm going to have to, you know, increase my box size a little bit. All right. So I like that pretty well. Now, if you wanted a different font, if you wanted something a little different than this, you could certainly highlight um, this name again and you could go up here and you could choose a different font. OK, so maybe I'll choose that one instead. OK. All right. So that part is done now. Um, your name at the top or on the corner or wherever you want it, just so that it's large enough that we can see it. This is a 25 font, so you could absolutely um, do 25 or maybe a little bit larger. OK. The third step then is to write a paragraph. So if you look here, I've given you writing prompts about what should be in your paragraph. This should be five to seven sentences. You can certainly add more details, but I wouldn't go beyond about 10 sentences on this. Five to seven is a good, you know, seven is a good um, standard paragraph size. So what we're gonna do is I say start here as you type each sentence, erase the directions. So this is going to allow you to put your uh, paragraph in this box and meanwhile get rid of the directions as you complete them. So let me show you how this works. So I'm going to start by following this first prompt. It says, how old are you or how, do, how old you are and then where you live. So I'm going to go ahead and write, um, my name is Kathy Busby and I am 55 years old and I live in Anderson, South Carolina, period. Okay, first sentence is completed. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up here, I'm gonna highlight this area that I don't need anymore, right? Because we did the first step, we know we're writing a paragraph, so now I can backspace and erase that. You notice how it gives me more space down here now? So this is how you're going to proceed. You're going to continue typing the second sentence, then you're going to erase those directions. Type the third sentence, erase those directions. I'm going to do the next one for you again so you can see. So I'm going to put my cursor here. Remember that after every period, you have one space. Okay, so the next one says describe your family, pets, etc. Uh, I am married and I have one son a daughter-in-law and a granddaughter. We also have four wonderful dogs. Okay, so that took care of this second prompt. So now I'm going to go up and I'm going to highlight it and backspace and erase that out bringing this up so it gives me more room to type. Okay, so you're gonna continue doing this until you have a completed paragraph, and when you're done, all of these directions will be erased. Okay, so that is step three. Step four is to add images that go along with your, I'm gonna move my picture here, that go along with your text. So anything that goes along with what you told me. So for dogs, I would put a picture of dogs. Um, I would put maybe, um, if I had pictures on my computer, I could put pictures of my husband. But if not, you could certainly do um, a picture of South Carolina here. You could do maybe something that has to do with Anderson. Um, and so you would just go along and find some pictures to put here. Now let's go ahead and do that so that you can see. Um, so maybe I have a, I, I do have a black lab at home. Um, his name is Dallas, but maybe I don't have a picture of Dallas on my computer, but I could go and find a picture of a black lab. So what we're going to do is now can, um, add these four images. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to insert an image. Okay. And when you, when you pull down on that, it's going to give you another drop down box. You just move over and you say search the web. 
when you click on search the web, it's going to bring up, and I'll move my picture over again, it's going to bring up um, a whole bunch of pictures here on the left that you could choose from. Um, and you type in what you want. So I'm going to type in black lab. And you'll see that a whole bunch of pictures of black labs come up here. And this is a super simple way to insert pictures into your slides, no matter if you're doing this project or any other project. So I think this one looks a lot like Dallas. I'm going to click on this. I've clicked on it and I'm going to drag it over to my slide. OK, now when it appears, it appeared under here, it's going to be fairly um, sometimes it'll be fairly large. Um, and so you'll need to resize it. When you resize a picture, you pull from the corner and you make it bigger and smaller. Anything you want. I could make it huge if I wanted, but I don't want to do that. I want to make it smaller. So I'm going to click on the corner. Remember, always click on the corner, guys. If you click anywhere else, it's going to um, make your picture look funny. It's going to make um, that dog look really fat or really skinny. So you always click from one of these corners. You never click from the bottom or the side. Okay, so I like that. Um, that's a good picture for me. If you really want to get fancy, you can put a frame on this. You can go up to the pencil and do a border. Okay, and let me move my picture. My picture keeps getting in the way here. I'm going to go up to the pencil. Uh, as long as these dots are up, it'll put a border around your picture. I'm going to do white just because I think that will show up best. You can give the border a weight, meaning make it thicker. And so I'm going to do a four. And there you go. OK, so you continue doing this. You're going to need four pictures of something that you talked about in your uh, paragraph. And I would do that after you finish typing your paragraph. So, for instance, one more. Let's just do one more so that you can see. Um, I, I'm going to talk about a favorite candy in here. And I do have a favorite. I have a bunch of favorites. I love candy. I'm, most people do, I guess. Um, so let me go ahead and do one more insert just so we can go through the process again. Insert, image, and then pull over here and go to search the web. OK, that will bring up these boxes. Now, mine were already up, but it, you know when you go to do it yourself. I'm going to just erase black lab now, and I'm going to put in um, chocolate. I do love some chocolate. And so let's see what would be it. This this one looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on it, push down and click and then drag. Keep that clicker down, drag it over. OK, that's huge. I don't want it that big. So I go to the corner, any corner that you can get a hold of. This one right here is available. So I'm going to click on that and drag in to make this a much smaller picture because I don't want it that large. You can see some of these pictures are really big when you bring them over, but you can fix it and adjust it any way you like. OK, and that one's looking pretty good. And again, because it's on a darker background, I think I am going to frame this in white. And so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to um, click on the little pencil border color. See what it says? Border color. And I'm going to click white. And remember, those dots have to be up. These dots have to be showing for you to do this. So I clicked on my color and I want it to be the same width as the other one that I did. And I'm going to hit the width of four. And so that gives me a nice little frame. Now, once you get all of these things on here, they are all movable. So so let's pretend, you know, I put my four pictures in here and I no longer need these directions. So I'm going to click on this box and I'm going to get rid of it by hitting. Notice the buttons are up here. Look at the dots. See them? I'm going to go ahead and hit backspace. And that gives me more room because I don't want directions. When this is finished, this should have no directions on it. It should have your name, a background, four pictures and your paragraph. OK, so you can change all these things around. It's that's the cool thing about Google Slides is, you know, I if I wanted to, I could just click on this with when you get those four arrows like that or the um, if you look um, the cursor right here that has those double arrows on it, you can I could pull this all the way down to the corner if I want. I could move this picture of the dog up or over if I want. I can do whatever I want. And so 
you know, however you want to arrange this is completely up to you, whatever you think looks best. But I would suggest that you do the same thing with each item. So for instance, um, you know, the pictures are all outlined in white. That just makes it look like it's professionally done and it's, it's clean. Okay, so when you get your slides off, all finished, then you would just leave it here on this slide deck. Um, and we're going to have one of these for each person. And then we are going to work with them. I'm going to have you um, take a look at another person's slides and maybe make some comments, insert a text box and make some comments on their slides. But once somebody has started working on a slide, if you would, please, um, you know, be respectful and don't don't write on anyone else's slide. Make sure you're only creating your own um, because that has been a problem in past years that students have gotten onto somebody else's slide and been silly and you know you don't want to do that you want to make sure to stay on your own slide okay hopefully this is very clear to you what you're supposed to do this uh, little video will be available to you so that you can certainly um, you know look at it again and again if you need more directions or you want to go over these directions again I'll make it available to you all right, great. So go ahead and get to work and make something beautiful that reflects who you are. And I think this will be wonderful. There is a grade for this. Um, I'm going to give this a quiz grade. So make sure that you, um, you know, create a nice product. And if you have any questions, I can certainly help you. All right, super. Good luck. And I 